Generic greetings, once again back on Prison Architect, hopefully this time to implement some of what we planned off in the last episode. Speaking of that planning, I have fixed the wall on the right hand side, as you can see it is now not on the pathway, which was always a uh, slight hindrance to people getting in, and I've made, uh, I think one or two changes in, in different places. I haven't made any major changes up the top here, because still waiting to get some more feedback and think on that a little bit more, because really, our focus on this episode is to get the administration centre done, which we can pretty much build right now. So let's just crack on, and we'll go to building and we'll go to fence. We're going to build a fence from this section onward and the reason for that is I might be expanding down here. I haven't decided yet and I really don't want to buy all this fence even though it is quite cheap and then have to buy some more wall later on. So we'll go down to there and then the fence will come up to here. Obviously this one here will all be um, inter sorry, all be external so any any um, any internal wall will be brick, any external will go for fencing, so uh, we will say maximise that out. What I mean by that actually is um, technically this wall here, um, it's it, 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 uh, internal inside, external outside. I mean that anything that's um, going to be building uh, will have a, uh, anything foundation will have a brick wall, whereas anything that's just like this, like this... Um, Basically, a divider will just be the uh, the standard fencing. Speaking of that, we'll actually add some more fencing along here. Now, do I want to add some more workers to the job? I really don't know, so I will um, not bother for the time being. Uh, we're going to go down and to there, and then along to probably about there. As I said, we might be expanding down here anywhere to make more room, which is fine. We don't we don't necessarily need more, but we might as well try it. Obviously, there's sections here that we've got nothing there, and that will have things like the laundry and um, maybe an extra parole, but I'm trying to centralise the parole, but I still haven't made that uh, change yet. Things like that, anyway. But uh, that's what this gap is for. The rest of it, it's pretty much as is. So... I'm going to hire some more workers, I have decided, one, two, three, four, and uh, four, there we go. So we now have a total of 12 workers, and they can crack on with their tasks. As you can see, we've got a lot of wood getting sold, and that's give us a lot of money. We are still losing some cash, we do have a daily cash flow of, it says money in, uh, 2,000 a day. I don't know if that is the case, because, that, is that including exports? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I would like a financial breakdown, but I don't have an accountant to give me one, so I'm just going to have to guesstimate. Um, anyway, so we'll go to our objects here, and then to dismantle, and we'll set up some more dismantling of uh, some of the trees that we've missed. We have done a couple of passes to get rid of most of them, and I believe most of them indeed have been removed. There's a little sapling there. Um, nothing else over here, so that should be fine. So as you can see, the workers are dashing around uh, desperately to uh, build everything that they can. Uh, we haven't got an area for power, so that's an issue. So what we could do is we could go to planning and then walls and assume that the wall is going to run like that, all right? Then this area could be whatever we need it to be. Um, so we can have in here, we could have a laundry, we can have power. If we have power, however, we probably want at least two power stations with one connected water. We only need one uh, water, one water pump for the entire facility. We don't need to mess around too much with that one. So if we have it there, will that be sufficient? Will two of them be required? I I don't know. So let's think about, say, putting in uh, one there, which is a 5x5 five five on this one. We'll say objects 5x5 five five, um, to there. And then another one will say 5x5 five five to there. We'll have to be very careful though, because if those touch, there'll be a very big bang. We haven't gone with any... Uh, is it 3x3 three three, the, the water pump or is it less? Is it less? That's a question. The water pump is a 3x3. Three three. Yes, of course. Doubting myself for a moment there. Um, and then the walls can go, quite frankly, straight across. But I don't like the idea of them having to walk across there. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, we still have this entire section for for whatever we need to be. So originally this was going to be storage, we might alter that. This one could also be storage. There's no reason why we can't just have a couple of random rooms for, for overspill. Uh, speaking of that, we do need a room for... Um I said laundry. We, If we have laundry in here, let's go through the advantages and disadvantages. So the advantages are that it's closer to home. Uh, the advantages are that we can have the prisoners work there. And the advantage is that we will probably have an easier time assigning people and um, rooms to it. If it's... Um, well, the disadvantages are that it can be um, damaged, and uh, that's always a problem. Uh, it would have to be 
filled up, which means that the workers are going to have to come all the way through the prison, and also we'd have to have three of them, so it's going to cost more. I am probably leaning to have it in here, because that's more along the same theme, but that does mean cutting down some of this, so we'll see how it goes. Either way, we have most of this building done, I think, so what I'll do is I'll assume that this is going to be building, so we'll set objects to there, and let's go to foundation, building brick, and we are going to place this entire building. Now, um, I will have this section here. I'll have all of this section, because I might as well just expand this bit down the bottom, because it just gives us a nice uh, a nice section there. And then finally, we'll do that, and then that's all of the all of this building basically done. So we'll have a large jail door on the front, and we'll put two of those in. Doesn't matter that we're putting them both in, because they are always locked open when there's no prisoners. So there's half of our money spent straight away, which is a bit of a problem. Um, normally, we don't... Um, place that much foundation in one go but because of what we're doing with it being this huge sort of admin block type thing plus it, the individual um i mean I, I call them prisons within prisons you could call them like that the more accurate i guess is that they are cell blocks oh there's another glitch uh there, let me prioritize all of um that and that and get rid of all of these there we go there's all that prioritized um they just want to get rid of these trees you see so yeah, it's normally we if we build cell blocks, it's a very, quite a smaller one, and we normally get the grants done. Um, you know, there's many skills of thought getting people in really quickly and then expanding from there. Um, we've tended to, on a small map especially, we, we've tended to build very, very late on in the series where we plan everything off and we build sequentially, get all the grants done, and then by the time we've got the the cells in and prisoners are ready to turn up we've got loads of things done we've got all of the extra extra rooms unlocked we've got security we've got automatic doors we've got guards walking around all the patrol routes we've got psychology we've got grading we've got the lot um whereas this one not really going to be the case i don't think what we'll have to do is get this done um we will try and place all this in one go in fact we have to place this all in one go we don't have a choice uh, so we'll have to get this uh, done and once this is done, we'll have to work on um, getting the very basics in here. So probably not even grade this, just have this as a holding cell and then have um, this open and then have this as a uh, well kitchen and canteen and then just basically just open it to prisoners and then hope that we can carry on from there. And because of that, we might have to get high risk prisoners. But we'll see how things progress on. Um, I am... Not against putting some money in to do this, because this is a fairly unorthodox build that I think uh, we can forego the normal formality of having to work within the confines of starter budget. If we wanted to, we could just say, for Meta's sake, that we've sold one of our previous prisons that is worth half a million, and we've built over the course of multiple episodes, so... <laughs> We'll see. Well, I'm trying not to do that, but I, again, I'm not. Um, I'm not totally against it. So I'm going to place all of the walls in, like so. Obviously, we'll have a staff door here, uh, and then we'll extend down to here. Um, we could really just build the top and bottom, couldn't we? Let me just pause that a second. Could build the top and bottom, and it means that we can then clone them along, which is probably the best thing to do. We could have even used the quick build functions, which are in there as well. Uh, as you can see, there are, there is an office there, and we can easily rotate that around. So quite frankly, uh, because it's in the game, we might as well use it. And there we go. Should have done that from the beginning. Hey ho. We haven't put the flooring in. Flooring will probably be one of the last things that we do. We just don't have the cash. Uh, what we also don't have is staff doll there, but at the moment, we don't need it. There is good enough access for... Um, the staff, although we have a problem. Um, there's some staff stuck. <laughs> yes, there is some staff stuck. So we do need a, a um, staff door there, maybe. Um, but I don't know what this room's going to be. Maybe, oh, that was going to be security, wasn't it? So probably just a staff door should be totally fine. Probably a staff door will be, be acceptable there. And we'll put one there as well. And we'll prioritise that because we need to get that built. And then it means that the staff here that's stuck, like this guy here who's freaking out, we can now head down to here. 
Obviously, to get around the back, it's a huge mess on. Actually, is that wrong? No, it's not. It's just the way it looks. I thought that was the wrong size, like the other side. Like the other side. Um, it's not getting changed now, anyway. <laughs> Even if it was the wrong size, wouldn't be changing it. Um, yeah, it's it's still a, quite a ways to get around here, but we will be putting doors in because remember this is just the external wall, and then it goes to this bit anyway. Getting in here is going to be the main issue. So there is one of our grants done, uh, or part of the grant rather for administration centre. Twenty-five grand remaining. Uh, nine grand uh, intake, which is fifteen grand, so we know that that is total, uh, totally co incorrect because we are selling logs, so that's going to go right down to nothing. So we need to focus on getting that grant done, another grant. So we'll get the warden, and straight away we'll unlock finance through our new open bureaucracy tabs. There we go. We'll click on that. That'll start researching that, and then we'll hire an accountant. Once we've done that, we will get a said accountant, and we'll go for an extra grant, and we'll get probably the um, staff well-being initiative, which is have a staff room, uh, some guards. Problem with that is that we... We then want, we'll have a lot of guards sitting around and uh, we need to do the maths on that. So the guards are 500 and 100 per day. So we're going to spend 2,500 getting the guards. Was it 2,000? Oh, sorry, was it five guards? Uh, I'll double check the grants on that one. Uh, have at least five guards without existing duties, uh, or without assigned duties rather. So we did five guards, that's 2,500. Each guard is 100 a day, so we would either fire them we'll probably fire them because 100 a day as soon as if, if we get prisoners before that before the five days are up then it means that that's fine that's worked out if it's after that we're just bleeding money because if we have to rebuy them it would have been cheaper to fire them and then rebuy them so yeah we'll um probably get rid of them but anyway oh look at that the uh doors are staggered i don't mind that actually it's not too bad. So you can see there's some research going in there, um, but you can also see that there is absolutely no lighting. So uh, that's an issue we, which we will now resolve. So we're going to bring the uh, electrical cable down to there, and then um, probably uh, probably up to this area here, um, because we're going to have to connect all the different rooms, you see, and hopefully that should suffice. It's only because these are separated by a complete wall that it's not extending. When you have the doors, it does extend. So there is our dingling noise to show that we have now finished finance through bureaucracy. So we go to staff and to the account and then hire the account and there we go. We will straight away go to bureaucracy. We're going to go for an extra grant and from our warden we will unlock health and then psychology. And we'll close that. We also probably want to go for security but I'll wait for now for that one. Over to reports once more and we'll get for, we've got short term investment and long term investment. I'm going to go through uh, same deal again uh, inmate health and well-being uh, short term investment and the long term investment is probably the way to go it's probably the way to go because well you just get money and the sooner we do it the better so they're now researching that and for some reason it is still not connected and that is because of uh, reasons unbeknown to me. Oh, it's because I cancelled one section of it, and it, yeah, if you cancel one section of it these days, it cancels what you've just last, like, placed last. We'll connect that up, um, so we have that there. If I know what we'll do is we'll place a capacitor there, and that will give us a free, free one. Uh, 21 grand, and slowly going down. <laughs> um, see, none of what we build here, though, will be really, um, utilised early on. Um, which is a problem. So I'm actually going to redo this wall, and the reason for that is we just don't need it like that. We could have it like that and have an entrance there and go out, and then this could be a slightly larger, slightly larger reception. For no reason, it's just it's just there's going to be a slightly larger reception, and why not? And probably double door there. Yeah, that's fine. To there, and it means that uh, oh no, we don't want a double door. We want a staff door, so the staff can go straight in now. You see, with this being a metal door. We might have to either change that for a single so that the staff can gain access to it. Probably what we'll do. Because... Um, because the staff will be going in and out a lot, very frequently in fact. However, the, the prisoners won't be. The prisoners won't be. They'll only be, ideally, there's only two times they'll be walking past this door. Once where they come in, and once when they go out. That's it. 
So we'll go over to objects and to staff doll, put a staff doll there, there, and then in here. And this will be our reception, which we will now promptly build. So reception, and we'll select all of this. Obviously, we do need all of the appropriate objects. So we need tables, we need uh, chairs, and we need a office desk. So we'll zoom in. I like that there. We'll have a chair uh, right next to it there and then we need tables where we will search the prisoners and that's fit in quite nicely and we'll do that mm, do I want to put that one there or do we have that in there no I think going there is fine and then one there is fine too and then we'll have a bin and then there's just a section here for just people to sit about so there's our reception in not too bad at all if we go over to this, we can see that the extra grant is now approved. Ph uh, psychology will be done shortly. We'll go for security. We'll also go for bank loan because I can see us taking some of that out. For our extra grant, I will go for... Um I think I will go for Staff Wellbeing Initiative because it's quite easy to do and quite frankly we've got uh, the staff room pretty much already done. Um, for well for the foundation such so we don't have to spend any more, which is the main thing. So this will go along to here. Um, the staff needs are on, so we can uh, not see needs yet because we don't have psychologists. So we'll hire a psychologist in but a moment once we've done this. So we need a staff room. Um, so a staff room, we will select all that and have that as a staff room. We do need some toilets because that's something that I tend to forget um, in the game. And that's a problem because it's not the right size. Um, one, two, no, that's not the right size either. Oh, well, we're just going to have to have three toilets there. And then you go down into your canteen. Which I think is actually no. Let's cancel that. We were gonna re we were gonna change this up, weren't we? So go to planning. Um, we'll have the canteen come down to there. This is gonna be our new canteen. Um, we'll increase the size of the staff room because of that. So prisoners are gonna come in. Sorry, <laughs> hopefully prisoners are not gonna come in. Hopefully staff will come in here. Uh, we'll have a two. We'll have two sets of the serving tables, and then we'll have essentially. Uh, two sets of uh, sorry four in total do we need four in total that will be four sets of benches and tables which is probably far too big for in here we probably only need the two and then if we want we can have the toilets at the back which makes a lot more sense it being in the canteen not as hygienic but it makes sense and then we'll do that and no, that don't, we don't need that. We don't need that. Right, so we'll go for that. Okay, so staff room, do that. Um, we will have, for the time being, let's go to our regime and we'll just have everything as free time for now. I don't want stuff being set to cook because we can't change this yet. We need security for that. So there's our staff room. Let's get the basic stuff in. So we need drinks machine. And we need a wide sofa. So drinks machine. We'll put in... See, I like them facing down because you can actually see them and they look quite nice. Drinks machine. We'll just put it there, though. And then sofa wide. There and there. And then we'll have them basically going around and then TVs and stuff in there. But that'll be the uh, room there. Uh, in terms of staff, uh, one, two, three... Four. That didn't. Why is it not hiring everybody? Five. That says have at least five guards without assigned duties. They don't have assigned duties. What assigned duties do they believe they have? There we go. <laughs> I was going to say I've not assigned anything. So because we are not going to be getting prisoners for at least five days, it's more cost effective to get rid. Okay. So back to grants. We're going to go for the inmate health and well-being, which is ten grand advanced payment. Very very good. It requires medical ward, two doctors, psychologist. Okay. Well, I'm going to cheat, basically. I'm not going to like actually go and hack into this, but I'm going to go... That's an infirmary, right? Indoors. It needs a medical bed. There's said medical bed. We need two doctors and a psychologist, right? There we go. There's that hired. And then that'll be that grant done. And then again, we'll get rid of those two and get rid of the infirmary. This is just for grant purposes. However... Uh, we now have access to the needs. So you see we have staff needs, which do include bowels, bladder, and stuff like that, which I don't think we'll ever see, because 
Um, the I don't believe the workers have staff needs. No, the staff are drones. They're not. They're not people. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't have any of these needs, but I will keep an eye on that. So let's just dismantle that bed. Obviously, we will just keep that in storage, so it's fine. And in terms of staff, we will get rid of the doctors. Although, because I believe they are a thousand to buy and two hundred a day. No, actually, it's a thousand to buy and a hundred a day. So it was probably more cost-effective to keep hold of them. But um, mm, it would require us to be in day fifteen or something too to be effective but well, it doesn't really matter so we'll go over to our other grants here and we'll get a long-term investment there we go and then we will crack on with building this this canteen here so the canteen will be um actually we need to we need to get a no not a guard why have we not got have we not got it yet oh security is 13 seconds okay so <laughs> shortly then um so we need a canteen in here this will be our staff canteen which is just called canteen at the moment but that will be changed once we get the once we get everything else in in terms of utilities we will run that electrical cable down there just to provide a little bit of power to that because they don't really want to eat in the dark uh, that has not actually been connected so my mistake I will do that now and that should be a powered water pump obviously we just need a lot of other things in here but we'll get onto that later so we want to go for um, well, in terms of grants, short and long-term investment on the go, the next grant we're probably going to get, though, is... Well, it's going to have to be Basic Detention Centre, isn't it? Although, no, Security Procedure Certification... Uh, oh, you, you need to do the Basic Detention Centre. Right, okay. So I will work on that principle. So Policy and Deployment. We're going to go for that one. Uh, micromanagement we don't need yet, so we'll probably call it there with that one and we'll finish off this canteen so the canteen um, not tables but it is the canteen serving tables one there and one there and then we will have tables either side with a bench one two three four and then quite unsavory but we'll have the toilets right here and we will put some doors on it don't worry we're not just gonna <laughs> leave this open one two three and then we want to have doors on it and it'll be just a standard door it doesn't really matter what type of door that is and damn it we can't because as you can see it's written over it's overwritten that bit with canteen so we can't do that which is a real pain so what i will do then is i will get rid of that bit of canteen and i'm hoping really hoping that that legitimately says eventually that we're okay it might not. It might say that actually this is not used by anybody so you can't... It's not designated so they're not going to use it. When will we find out though? Because currently there's no needs going up there. It will. We'll find out when basically stuff turns up. Uh, currently maxed out. So you can see prison policy will be done shortly. And then deployment. It really needed to be the other way around. Because if it was the other way around, then it would be better. Uh, do I really need a staff door here? Well, no, but I'm going to put it there just for security purposes, just in case someone tries to run through. It's not going to provide much of much security if they're at this point. It's pretty much a game over, but we'll put it there. So canteen is technically done, kitchen yard. I mean, all of this here, the basic detention centre, we can get done within this facility and then go on to that one if we want to. That is a possibility. Uh, are we going to do that? I don't know. Haven't yet decided. Haven't yet decided. Um, what I'm struggling to understand, though, is why these logs are still sitting about and there is no work order for that. Huh. I will instead then sell them manually because it's just easier. I don't think there's any other logs. No, there are some logs. Strange that the work order just sort of stopped, just sort of ceased. So we should have now had. Uh, why is deployment not being researched? Ah, it's because I haven't got a chief. That's why I thought I hired a chief. No, I researched chief. I didn't hire them. So that's now getting researched. I will go for um, maintenance and education because that will give us access to everything else that we need. Because we will need cleaners. We will need education because that's one of the grants. Uh, we won't be picking that grant up very early on unless we need to because the grant itself has a... 
a fairly high requirement for government grants. You can see that Reform Through Education Initiative requires uh, 10 prisoners past foundation education course and one prisoner for the general. That's m been massively nerfed from the almost impossible task that it was originally for a long time. Um, obviously, it's been changed um, since then. So I'm not really in the market for placing any more walls in here because I just don't want to do that. Um, in terms of money, I think our daily cash flow is negative still. Um, we'll probably sack a couple of workers, but the rest I'm not going to get rid of because I think we need them. All of the accountant, the accountant you can get rid of um, if you want after you've researched everything. The only thing you don't have access to, I believe, is the finance tab, which just gives us information. But the rest of it, I believe we can have. Um, we could take a bank loan out, and that will artificially increase that will increase our credit rating. You see your credit rating goes up there. Um, and there you go. I think the longer you have a loan, the higher incre the more it increases. So let's just keep that there and see how high our credit rating can go just on this point. There's a ding-a-ling noise, means we now have deployment, which I will then promptly use to set all of this to staff only. And as soon as I do this one, it will say staff canteen, which it does. That's fine. So now this should have deliveries. So there, the room requirements disappear. You can see they did have a flashing room requirement, saying that we now need... Um, we now need... Oh, we, we originally needed um, a kitchen. Now it doesn't say that at all. And now what happens is we get these staff meals coming in, which we've just paid 1,200 generic units of currency for. They're going to get delivered to here by actually the... Oh. What? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was wondering. Um, I, I was wondering why they're running from there. It's because these deliveries and garbage shouldn't be there. I just didn't get rid of them previously. So now they should come down to here. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so were they coming in and then going up to there, or were they just jumping over the wall? I didn't see that. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, oh, they've got like, um, they've got crisps and sandwiches and stuff like that getting put in there. So that should be fine. Right. I think we will leave it there. Um, not a bad bit of building, actually. We've got about what I planned off to do. Um, we got what I planned off, um, in my head done. So that's, that's good. We've got short and long-term investment to crack on with. We've got basic detention centre and obviously all of this up here. Next episode, I'll implement loads of changes, uh, switch this around and uh, generally progress on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.